The Tesla Cybertruck has consumed a lot of vehicle news as of late, and for good reason. It has one of the most polarizing designs for a car we have ever seen, and it's a car that is actually being put into production. Usually a car like this would be a concept car that we'd never actually really see in the world. On top of that, it's coming from the company that makes the best-selling car in the world, so people are really keen to see what happens here, good or bad. Today we're going to round up all the features the Cybertruck is bringing, including ones you may not know about, and others that are truly game changers for the auto industry. So let's get into it, and a special thanks to Factor for sponsoring this video. We'll divide this video into three sections, everything under the hood of the Cybertruck, the exterior features, and then the interior features. To start out with, let's look at the exterior of the Cybertruck. It's pretty clear that the Cybertruck is different, and that's because it's built using an exoskeleton of stainless steel. Tesla took the toughness of the truck and put it on the outside with its stainless steel panels, helping to eliminate the need for multiple layers within. In practice as well, this should be much more difficult to damage while remaining safe. Tesla says this will reduce dents, damage, long-term corrosion, and will make repairs simple and quick. It's also bullet resistant. Then the glass is shatter resistant, resisting the impact of a baseball at 70 miles per hour and keeping the cabin quiet. Those are some of the benefits Tesla gets from this crazy design, but let's look at the individual features. Up front, there's a powered front trunk with enough space to fit two carry-on suitcases. There are also tie-down accessories you can buy for this space as well, but right behind the panel there is where you swap out the HEPA filter. This makes the air filter incredibly easy to change out compared to most cars, including other Teslas. Around back, there is a six by four foot truck bed that comes with its own super tough composite bed. Tesla says this eliminates the need to install your own liner and says it's big enough for four by eight construction materials. This has a payload capacity of 2,500 pounds. Within the bed, there are two integrated L-Track rails, four tie-down anchors, and D-Ring anchors can be added easily. There is an LED light bar across the sides of it, and then there's a full underbed storage location. This is a very useful extra storage location, and it has a drain plug as well. That drain plug also has the cool special touch of being one of the few Cybertruck logos in the truck. Within the bed as well are three outlets, two 120 volts, and one 240 volts, which we'll detail more in a bit. Then there is the powered tonneau cover that covers the whole bed and locks everything. This works very well in all the uses we've seen for it and it rolls up smoothly into the truck. Then it's very strong, supporting up to 300 pounds on top of it. The tailgate powers down and then closes manually. The Cybertruck also has a full tow hitch setup, but the cover has been over it in most recent sightings of the truck. Here's a look at what the prototype looked like under the cover, and all Cybertrucks do include a tow hitch, as trucks do. Up front for windshield wiping, the Cybertruck has one huge four and a half foot wiper to cover the entire massive windshield. There are at least eight cameras around the truck, including one on the front bumper to enable autopilot and help with general visibility, and then the charge port is located on the rear driver's side wheel well. This port is a bit better than previous Tesla charge ports because power can flow both directions, and we'll detail that fully in a bit. One thing you may notice that is missing here is a spare tire. Tesla never includes a spare tire with their cars because in their view, most customers are carrying around the unnecessary weight all the time. For trucks though, it's a bit more important, so they do offer a spare tire accessory that straps into the bed. That will take up some bed space though, so many may prefer something like this third-party accessory. For recovery hooks, we've seen them installed in prototypes, but aren't sure if they will come with the production truck or not, or will require an accessory after the fact. I expect that you will have to install it yourself after. One other accessory Tesla plans to ship is a $16,000 range extender. Tesla executives recently confirmed that they are still aiming to hit a 500 mile range with this extender that sits in the bed, but for now, it will give the all wheel drive a 470 plus mile range. To open the doors of the Cybertruck and get in, there are no handles. Instead, you press a button located on each pillar. That props the door open a couple inches and you grab it from there. Tesla says that this is capable of breaking through an inch of ice, and this setup is quite similar to the Mustang Mach-E. And then comes the futuristic interior of the Cybertruck. The Cybertruck looks like a spaceship inside, and it's because it takes Tesla's already minimal approach, but adds in the Cybertruck's design language. There are five seats in this truck. The front two seats are perforated and are cooled and heated. Then there is a center console with some storage, cup holders in a cyber shape, a wireless charger for two phones, and then an open area in between the two footwells for more storage. The glove box is a slide out drawer and this opens from the screen just like any other Tesla. There is additional storage in the door pockets and you can probably optimize the space underneath the seats as well. In back, there are three seats with the left and right ones heated. 
That rear bench can also be folded up and locked in place for additional storage back there. And then one specifically cool feature is that the doors themselves open up about 90 degrees to allow you to actually get cargo into this space. In the back is one of the two screens in this truck, and this one is 9.4 inches. It will function the same as other Tesla rear screens, allowing rear passengers to play games, watch streaming, and control media. Rear passengers can also connect their own Bluetooth headphones independent of the rest of the car's audio. One other detail in the rear is that the windows roll all the way down instead of sticking up a bit. Underneath that rear screen is a full 120 volt outlet and two USB-C ports for rear passengers as well. The other interior plugs are a USB port in the glove box for a sentry mode drive, and then a 120 volt and one USB-C port in the center console for front passengers. Then comes the driver's view. The Cybertruck is as simple as can be, with just what Tesla is calling a squircle, pedals, and a giant 18.5 inch center touchscreen. For reference, the Model 3 and Y have a single touchscreen that is 15 inches wide. This is 3.5 inches wider on the diagonal for the Cybertruck. The Squircle is this rounded out steering wheel that looks like Tesla took a yoke and a wheel and decided to split the difference. As I'll detail in a bit, you'll never be turning hand over hand since this has steer by wire, so the shape of this probably is great in practice. On that wheel are all of your controls for autopilot, media, blinkers, bringing up the cameras, headlights, voice commands, windshield wipers, and more. Lots of these controls are further handled on screen as well. One welcome confirmation here is that it has a normal horn, unlike the Model S and X's touch sensitive horn button. There are no stocks behind the wheel and as such shifting is handled completely on screen. Swipe up for drive, swipe down for reverse, tap for park. If you absolutely don't want to shift on screen or your screen were to have an issue, backup shifters turn on within the mirror housing above you. I already talked about the cameras on the Cybertruck, but you can activate these with a button on the steering wheel or on screen, and it will display front and sides or rear and sides. It's also cool to see that both going backward and forward, the Cybertruck has path lines. I'm curious to try this for the front camera since this is the first time Tesla has shipped this. Most Cybertrucks shipping now include the white interior, and that has the white panels around the inside, but you'll notice that the seats are black in every spec. Even though Tesla plans to ship a white and then a black interior, the difference will be fairly subtle in things like the door panels and the dash. Before we go any further, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Factor. Factor is America's number one ready to eat meal delivery service, and they bring chef prepared, dietitian approved meals straight to your doorstep. It's guilt free convenience as well, since 100% of their delivery emissions are offset, and they source 100% renewable electricity for their production sites and offices. With the busy holiday season coming up, Factor lets me skip all the hassle and mess of cooking at home while getting great flavor and nutrition. These meals are never frozen and are ready in just two minutes. I've never found a pre-made meal situation quite like Factor, and their meals truly do save you time and they're delicious. You can choose from over 35 weekly meals, including calorie smart and protein plus options, so you can maintain your health goals while feeling your best over the holidays. On top of that, they have over 55 add-ons, including quick breakfasts, lunch to go, grab and go snacks, ready to drink cold pressed juices, shakes, and smoothies. Then you can always skip delivery if you're traveling this season. Factor is now owned by HelloFresh, who I've partnered with in the past, and I actually love both. There's something for everyone, whether you want to cook or simply heat up your meal. Right now, I've been loving Factor. Head to factor75.com or click the link below and use the code RyanShaw50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. On screen, the Cybertruck is a lot like any Tesla, except that the interface is entirely designed with a Cyber theme. Overall, it looks pretty good, and we can see the features that this has that other Teslas don't. For one, the front camera. For two, the central Cybertruck that you can pan around to access various features in 3D. Then the suspension settings, which are more involved than that of the Model S or X, and the tonneau cover controls. Within the settings are also dynamics controls, towing and hauling controls, and then outlets and accessories controls. These are all new for the Cybertruck since you can dial in things like off-roading. One other feature this has because it has to is a rear view mirror replacement view for the center touchscreen. When closed, the tonneau cover fully blocks your rear view in the Cybertruck. So even though there is a standard rear view mirror shipped with this truck, it will be blocked most of the time for many drivers. That's why the mirror is instead put on the center touchscreen. That's definitely a recalibration to get used to as a driver, looking down at the center screen instead of up at a rear view mirror when driving. In most Cybertruck videos, we saw the truck only operating in dark mode for the software, but minimal ducks video shows clearly that there is both a light and dark mode for this truck. 
Over time, we'll learn more about the Cybertruck's interior and its quirks, but one thing we're used to seeing in Teslas is a button to exit. You press this button, which is a physical button, this releases the door, and then you push the door open to exit. It then has manual releases if needed. So those are the things you'll interact with when driving the Cybertruck, but let's take a look at all of the things the Cybertruck brings, quote, under the hood. The Cybertruck has adopted a brand new 48 volt electrical system in lieu of the auto industry's standard 12 volt system. The main advantage of this system is that it will allow the Cybertruck to supply the same amount of power to its various systems, but at a much lower current. The power can be used more efficiently with less current loss as it travels through the car's systems through thinner and lighter cable. This change will require some big adjustments behind the scenes as components made for 12 volt systems don't work with a 48 volt system and either need to be redesigned or converted on the truck. That change does require some big upfront investments, but it could pay off in a major way once large scale production ramps up. That's a change the industry has wanted to make for a while now and Tesla is doing it and it helps reduce weight in the truck. With the Cybertruck as well, Tesla has completely reimagined the way a car can be wired. Other cars require massive wiring structures because every individual component needs its own specific wiring. In this truck, Tesla has designed it so every component runs through the same ethernet system in one big daisy chained loop. They call it Etherloop. This gigabit cable supplies everything needed and is bi-directional for redundancy. Using this technology, Tesla was able to significantly reduce both the mass and length of the wiring system, even though the Cybertruck has significantly more systems and points of connection. For example, the Model 3 has 273 individual points of connection, while the Cybertruck has 368 endpoints. Despite that, the total number of wires in this truck has gone down from 490 to 155, a nearly three quarter reduction that uses a lot less cable. Since everything shares the same communication link, Tesla also claims that this system is much easier to debug than ever before since they can simply plug in a computer and see every part of the vehicle all at once. Then it's bi-directional, which gives them redundancy and delivers features like active noise canceling. In this interview with Sandy Monroe, this was actually the first time we had heard that the Cybertruck will have active noise cancellation in the cabin. The Model S and X have this feature, and Tesla says that the Cybertruck has sublime audio. Quote, recording studio sound dynamics with 15 speakers, including two dedicated subwoofers and distributed amplifiers. Now we know that it will also get active noise canceling, whether that's delivered at launch or in a future update. Alongside this new electrical and communication system, Tesla has also added a new steer-by-wire feature. Steer-by-wire fundamentally changes the way that the car's steering is handled. Here, the steering wheel is actually not physically connected. Instead, the connection is made electrically using a wire running from wheel to axle. When making a tight turn, the Cybertruck does not require you to turn the wheel hand over hand, but will stop after one turn. This system allows for a more versatile driving experience that adapts to the setting that you're in and the speed you're driving. When driving at higher speeds, it feels like steering that you are used to, but at slower speeds, you can make tight maneuvers easily and precisely as it requires less to get more. When you combine this with another feature the Cybertruck has, rear steering, this means that this large truck will be able to make very tight turns with ease. Typically a large truck takes a lot of steering to maneuver and Tesla decided to change that here. Four wheel steering has existed for some time, but it's the first time Tesla is putting it in their vehicles. Essentially at low speeds, the wheels will turn out of phase. Meaning if the front wheels are turning to the left, the rear wheels will turn to the right to make a tighter turn radius. Then at higher speeds, like on the freeway, they will turn in phase. If you're lane changing to the left, the front and rear wheels will do the same for added stability. So that coupled with steer by wire should make the Cybertruck incredibly easy to maneuver. On a related note, Tesla has also introduced a brand new 800 volt charging architecture for the Cybertruck. Like the 48 volt electrical system, this new system allows them to supply the same amount of power to the vehicle using less wire at a lower current. This architecture will allow the Cybertruck to utilize much faster charging speeds using Tesla's new generation of V4 superchargers. These stations have been popping up around the country and will be a great asset to this truck, taking current 250 kilowatt max charging speeds and improving them up to 350 kilowatt speeds. With this upgraded architecture comes another big feature that plenty of Tesla fans have been requesting for a while, bi-directional charging. This will allow the Cybertruck to offload some of its stored power for use in a number of applications. You can power lights, tools, camping gear, or any number of other electrical appliances using the five outlets in the Cybertruck. There are two 120 volt outlets inside, two in the bed, and then one 240 volt NEMA 1450 outlet. With this, you can power large appliances or even charge another electric car at 40 amps. Then you can even power your entire home in the event of a blackout or power outage through PowerShare. 
This delivers power back through the charge port at 11.5 kilowatts. And with some home hardware, like a wall connector and Tesla gateway, the Cybertruck can back up your home for a very long time. With its 123 kilowatt hour battery pack, it's the size of nine Tesla Powerwalls and provides the same function. To me, this is one of the best features to see delivered on this truck. Next, let's talk about the Cybertruck's suspension. One of the very premium features the Cybertruck includes is an adaptive air suspension. The first use for this is a smooth ride when desired, and a well-designed air suspension system can definitely deliver this. But the other use is for raising and lowering your ride height depending on the use. The Cybertruck has 12 inches of travel here, meaning that at its highest setting, likely used mainly when off-roading, you can get up to 17 inches of true ground clearance in this truck. Then when you want to ride lower, you can go down to around five inches of ground clearance, and this will likely give some of the best efficiency. This system will automatically adapt, but then you can choose between different ride heights. Here they have it at the very high setting and have the option to go down to high, low, and entry. In Sandy Monroe's overview of the Cybertruck with Tesla's engineers, they talk about the fact that the Cybertruck is platform-based. So even though there are three motor configurations, they are very easy to make, and they confirmed that the horsepower on rear-wheel drive will be 315 with a 7,500 pound towing capacity. Then all-wheel drive is 600 horsepower with an 11,000 pound towing capacity, and tri-motor is 845 horsepower with the same 11,000 pound towing capacity. As for those motors, Tesla decided to use two induction motors in the rear and one permanent magnet motor up front. In practice, this means that the Cybertruck, while much larger and requiring a lot more, has the same amount of rare earths that the Model 3 does. Now the Cybertruck's battery pack is entirely new and utilizes Tesla's own 4680 battery cells. They already shipped these on a number of Model Ys, but the upgraded second generation 4680 cell was confirmed to have a 10% greater density. Interestingly enough, Drew Blaglino actually recently said that it's a 9% density improvement. Still, this tech is part of what should help Tesla reduce costs long-term by building their own battery pack in-house. It's also structural, which quote, reduces the number of parts, the total mass of the battery pack, and therefore enables Tesla to improve efficiency and ultimately the range of its electric vehicles. For the Cybertruck, the main structure is made of the large front casting, extremely large rear casting, and battery pack in between. Last, for under the hood of the Cybertruck, let's review the specs enabled by everything we just talked about. Tesla will ship a rear-wheel drive with 250 miles of range and a 6.5 second 0-60 in 2025. Then in 2024, will come all-wheel drive with a 340-mile range, 4.1 second 0-60, and then Cyber Beast Tri-Motor with 320-mile range and 2.6 second 0-60. There's a lot of new stuff in the Cybertruck, and I tried to cover absolutely everything we know about it within this video. There will be plenty of ways to expand on what the Cybertruck delivers with Tesla accessories and third-party ones, and then the real information will be seeing how this truck performs in the real world and on third-party safety tests. We expect it to do well in both of those scenarios, as Teslas do, and we know Tesla has done a ton of their own safety testing, but I'm excited to have all of that official information released and see customers put this truck to the test with trucking things in the real world. If you're taking delivery of a Cybertruck anytime soon, I'd love to do a full review of it, and my email is linked in the description below if you're interested. In the meantime, if you wanna see the latest Tesla news, you can check out that video linked up here or in the description below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.